Hi, my name is David. I'm a product manager with Apigee, and today I will show you how to implement post-client flow in an API proxy. Post-client flows can hold message logging policies. The reason that we'd implement a post-client flow with a message logging policy is to uh, eliminate the latency invoked or introduced as uh, analytics data is captured in our analytics database. I'm going to select an API proxy that I've previously implemented. This particular proxy uh, is a node.js microservice versus the IP address of the API server uh, that handles the request. So I've opened that proxy. I'm going to switch to the developer tab. And I'm going to add in a message logging policy, but I won't attach it to a flow. We'll call this host client flow analytics. And we'll add that policy to the proxy. Next. I'm going to paste some configuration code into the proxy endpoint. This particular code is not complex. It's something that I, I typed in prior to uh, this session. And once I've got that in there, and assuming that I've used the correct uh, uh, policy name, I should be able to save this. And it will be deployed in my test region. Next, I'm going to go into trace and we'll actually see where in the flow this new policy is actually invoked. So I'm going to start a, trace, a new trace session. I'm going to invoke the API. And I'm going to stop the trace session. So you clearly can see that in the flow, uh, we receive the request. The node module has taken control and actually processed the request, has returned the response back to the Apigee Edge instance, and the response has been sent to the client. And then finally, the post client flow AX policy that I just implemented was used to actually store analytics data into the analytics database. This happened after the response was returned to the client, saving that client the added latency that otherwise would have been consumed as that information was placed into the analytics database. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.